Pirates, not Errol Flynn or Douglas Fairbanks Jr., but that's what they're called, and it's not a gleaming clipper ship, but a broken down bucket which has drawn the attention of the federal government. Inside this hulk, pirates are beaming the best of rock and roll and other music to the East Coast without a license. All oh, that was enough for our Steve McPartland to take a couple of Dramamine and find out all about it. Steve? Not bad rock and roll, Maury. It is being played by this nation's newest radio station, WRNI. I'm sorry, RNI, no W in front of it. And that stands for Radio New York International. I'm about four miles off the coast of the United States, off the east coast of the United States. And these fellows are broadcasting music throughout the entire east coast. Now, they say this is not a pirate radio station. They call it an offshore radio station. With me is the chief engineer, Al Weiner. Al, why don't you explain the difference between a pirate radio station and an offshore radio station? Okay, well, pirate denotes illegality. There is nothing illegal about this station. We're an international territory. Uh, we're operating beyond the jurisdiction of the Federal Communications Commission. Uh, we are on a uh, properly registered Honduran vessel, again, in international waters. Uh, this is a completely legal offshore radio station. I understand the Coast Guard paid you a visit the other day. Yeah, the Coast Guard came by to do a routine check of um, papers and registration. They were very polite, you know, very nice. Uh, the FCC came on board and bullied us around and got a little belligerent and illegally tried to uh, serve us with um, warnings which have no jurisdiction out here. Okay, let's ask Ivan about uh, how are you guys going to pay for this? How are you going to get revenue to pay for this whole deal? Hopefully we should get advertisers to support us for the radio station to uh, let the world hear. And that's why in purpose we're here to, to supply the listeners with the music, rock and roll music, old and new. Uh, to everybody out in New York, the world, even the nation, who knows? Now, once you begin getting advertisers and begin paying for this, is the FCC going to step back in? Um, well, again, it's out of their jurisdiction. The has no authority or control. I mean, we're just a group of people that set up a radio station. We want a chance to uh, offer an alternative and freeform rock and roll to the New York area, and I think they should let leave us alone. Well, that sounds uh, pretty good to us. I guess they're just some young men committed to bringing them rock well, and roll to the East Coast. Uh, right. From well, the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, Maury. Okay. Right, <laughs> okay. Back to you. All right. We'll leave you all alone. Thank all right. you. <laughs> Go back. Play a little Chuck Berry. We'll be back in a moment after this.